y'all already know. Apparently, the Frank Martin versus Shakur Stevenson fight is off. We don't know the reasons why. Um, we're still waiting on more details. I was hyped up for this fight because this fight, it was it was a good fight for Shakur and Frank Martin to show where they are. All right, we, you know, from the surface, Shakur Stevenson is the goods. Excellent IQ, great reflexes. He got it all. And I think Frank Martin probably would have been a good test to his chin. But as far as skills, he not, he not, he, he didn't have no skills for He's far apart from Shakur in the skill set department. And as far as Frank Martin, I would love to see how he would do against a Shakur Stevenson. That would be the biggest name on his resume thus far. But everybody agrees that they think Frank, Frank Martin is going to end up getting picked apart anyway in this fight. Uh, you saw how Frank Martin looked at his last fight. I saw him get hurt to the body against a, a weaker puncher. He looked bedazzled in that fight. He was confused and stuff like that. It took him a while to really, you know, start picking up the pace on this guy. And that dude is nowhere near as skilled as Shakur Stevenson. You know what I mean? So that fight probably was pretty much an easy fight to predict, man. Just uh, most people predicted. Uh, 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 surprisingly, I had picked knockout, and a lot of people I looked at other videos and they were saying um, that they. Uh, pre uh, predicted a knockout as well Some people predicted a decision win Because a lot of people Don't believe in Shakur Stevenson's power I think his power is there It's underrated And it's coming And it's at this division You're going to start to see The knockouts pick up for Shakur In my opinion But um, You already got channels Talking to You know They're up there saying Well Y'all was okay with Shakur Ducking Devin Not taking the fight The 25% On this other stuff First of all, I'm one of the channels that said I thought Shakur should have called Devin's bluff. All right, I'm one of the channels that said that. And uh, sometimes you got to strike with an eye this high. You know, um, I think he. Uh, I feel both ways about it. I think he should have took the 25. But um, I was also hearing that there was other stuff that wasn't even attached to the 25. Like there was, like it wasn't no guarantee with it, and all this other stuff. And I'm like, whoa, you know, what I'm saying maybe that is why he didn't take the 25 percent. Who knows? But the the thing is this, man. Um, it's not the same because the Frank Martin fight and the Shakur fight. I'm hearing they had a venue ready, all this other stuff, and he pulls out. There was no venue with anything ready with the Devin and Shakur fight. They weren't that far down the line with that fight. They were just talking. They were just sending offers and, and, and stuff like that. They didn't even get to the table as far as okay yeah we, we we agreed to this that and the third this is where the fight gonna be and the fight was booked here i'm hearing that the venue was already set for the 16th so what's the what that's not the same it's not the same i can get where people was coming from saying um you should say shakur he ducked uh devin no it's, i can get it but i don't it's not the same no it's not it's just not and there's many speculations on why frank martin Pulled out of this fight Some are saying He got cold feet I mean this That'll be a little too late Down the line To get cold feet man you, You're sitting down You have the, everything All ready to go And then you pull out Because you're scared I, I don't think that's what happened um, A lot of people also say Javante Tate Davis Was uh, Wait lurking in the shadows And ended up Dangling the character In front of Uh Frank Martin in his team's face and he took the Frank Martin uh, the, the, the Devontae Tate Davis fight but then I don't know if that's true either because we heard Tate is supposed to fight Isak Cruz in the rematch who knows right and if this is true that would mean Shakur is ducking uh, that this is a duck that is a duck you know it's not a duck uh, Tate is a bigger fight alright so then now, why not go right after Tate then Tate been free he just came, he came out of jail not too long ago. If they really wanted to take fight, why not just fight him? Why not even why not even acknowledge Shakur Stevenson? You could have been reached out to take Davis. Let's line this up. So I don't want to hear that. That's bullshit. There's a duck for take too. Because take he also had an ample opportunity to reach out to Shakur Stevenson for a fight. He said he wanted to fight Shakur. What happened to that? Devin is gone. He's at 140. What happened to Shakur? Where's the Shakur fight? Loma is fighting uh, George Cambosos, I heard. 
So Shakur is wide open. Where you at, Tate? This is this is nuts. This is crazy, bro. This is crazy. Man, a lot of people are upset because um like my little bro, my little bro Belarge, like bro, I'm not I'm not hollering that none of the Freight Mars fights no more. And I hundred percent agree. This is the same guy that say he'll take the smoke from anybody and then he just tuck tail like that. And my thing is this. They said oh uh, he was only gonna get a million dollars. So ain't, ain't that wouldn't that be Freight Mars biggest payday? Come on, man, stop, bro. If Freight don't didn't take a million, that's the same thing as Shakur not taking supposedly eight million from Devin Haney, right? Ain't that the same thing? It's a belt. This is a belt on the line now. This is a belt. Same thing I was saying about Shakur. Like, damn, bro, you had a chance to get the belts from Dev. Unless Dev and it was just capping, right? And we don't know, man. We'll never know now, right? We'll never know when it comes to Devin Haney. As far as Frank Martin, he was right there. They was about to fight, bro. You can't make an excuse for this shit. Even if taking them, say, oh, we offer you the bigger bag. Bro, you can't just leave dudes high and dry like that. You know what I'm saying? And if it was about the money, could they? Were they gonna go to purse man? Okay, if it was really an issue with the money, they could have went to the purse bin and like, all right, or you know, whatever. This ain't enough. Or, you know, go back and forth on the table. And why did that come out? Okay, if the million dollars was the problem, right? Why didn't they come out? Why didn't they counter it? Like, oh no, I, you know, a million five. All right, send it back to Shakur and his team. How come we didn't hear anything about that? We just heard this dude just not fighting this dude, bro. And then we got all these channels and all these other dudes, these commenters. They're they're sticking up for um, um, Frank Martin, but the same energy, the same energy they are having for the other fighters. They okay with Frank? If oh, that's not enough for Frank. He's the same catch that was giving Terrence Crawford hell. For turning down the first offer he got from Errol Spence in them. It's crazy, bro. Unbelievable. It's like it's like these dudes is like the PBC Protection League or something. I think that's what these these, these uh a lot of these channels are, man. But is Frank Martin's new name Casper the Friendly Ghost? I don't know, man. You be the you be the judge, man. Let me know what y'all think. This is Rebel Life Boxing, man. I'll catch y'all on the next one. And I'm off this.